Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Each and every day is a new day to sing new songs, to sing new praises, to give him the glory today, to give him the praise today, to give him the worship today. I don't know about you today, my brothers, my sisters, but every day is a beautiful, blessed day to always, always be in the presence of the Lord, to always seek him. To always put your faith and your trust and hope in him each and every day. That's not a day they don't go by. I don't worship my God. That's not a day I don't go by. I don't give him the thanks and praise and glory. That's not a day I don't go by. I don't magnify and shout out his holy name for who he is and what he has done and what he is doing in our life. Every day that God gives us the opportunity and the ability to do something with our life. Most of you right now today, you are not doing neither one of it. But you want to get mad and complain why things not going your way and why you don't have nothing. He's the word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 8 that he gives you the ability to gain wealth. And the ability he's giving you is that gift that he endowed every last one of y'all. Nobody can take that gift away from you. That gift don't have no expiration date on it. So why you're not using this? Use the gift. Use your opportunity. Use your ability. And by you doing it, give him the thanks for it. Give him the praise for it. Give him the glory for it. Because our God is awesome. Our God is amazing. Our God who is moving mountains on our behalf right now today. And the reason why he is moving mountains on our behalf right now today. Because we are coming to him with our faith. We are coming to him with our trust. And we are coming to him with our hope. And when you are coming to God with your trust, faith, and hope, he is moving mountains on your behalf. He is worthy to be praised. That's why I'm in love with him. That's why I trust him. That's why nothing comes before him. Not my wife, not my job, not my kids. Nobody comes before Jesus. He is numero uno in my life. And he's going to stay numero uno in my life. Amen? Amen. Give God some praise right now. Give God some praise if you trust him. Give God some praise if you know he's doing the unexpected in your life. I say give him some praise right now. In this house. Because his presence right now. Is in this house. His presence right now. Is all around this room right now today. Glory hallelujah. We thank you today. In Jesus mighty holy name. My sisters my brothers. It's such a blessing today. To have y'all guys a part of today's service today. Minister LT can't thank y'all guys enough. For always taking y'all time out. Out of y'all busy schedule. To always listening to another word and receiving another message that's coming from my Heavenly Father God. Y'all could have been doing anything yesterday, but you chose to watch Jesus' YouTube channel. You chose to receive and listen to another word. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Because of y'all, why this ministry is still on air. Because of y'all, why this ministry is still growing. And words can't even explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, blessed I am for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of my life and path. And I'm so thankful that I'm a part of y'all guys' life and path. And if I'm thankful and grateful and honored and blessed for y'all, how much more do you think our Heavenly Father God is thankful, grateful, honored, and blessed? Amen. And because of that, Isaiah 43 verses 18 through 20 says that he is doing something new. He is doing something new in your life because you are faithful to his ministry. You have obedience towards his ministry. So that's why he is doing something new. He is preparing y'all blessing, y'all breakthrough, y'all deliverance, y'all help, y'all harvest. And I'm praying for prosperity for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for open doors for every last one of y'all. I'm praying for miracles and wonders that happen in y'all life right now today. And I believe it and I declare it and I receive it for every last one of you that you will see miracles happening in 2018. You will see your blessings happening in 2018 you will see your overflow in 2018 you will receive your deliverance in 2018 you will see more than enough in 2018 do you claim it and do you receive it today my brothers my sisters because if you do it's going to happen and i believe and i declare it right now in jesus holy mighty name 
It's already done for y'all. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Is there anyone out there in the world today that is ready to give their life to Christ today? And if you're ready, please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that want to be saved today? Please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that want that relationship with Jesus? I, I encourage you right now today to head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that has lost their trust, lost their faith and hope in God? And right now you know it's something that's brewing right here in your gut. It's something that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now today. Say, you need to get back into the Word of God. You need to get back trusting Him and having your faith and hope in God. And if, and if that is you, I boldly encourage you right now today to head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's looking for a church home? And God is speaking to you right now today and telling you, okay, here goes your church home right here now today. This is your church home right here on YouTube. I'd be more gladly and set to have y'all part of this ministry. I tell you what, my brothers and sisters, that'd be the best thing that you ever could have done. I tell you what, every day when God is speaking to me, I, I promise you, I'm going to help you the best way I can. I know that his words and I know that his messages that he speak to me is going to, is going to help you and they are for you. I'm going to say welcome to the family. And my point is why I'm always saying this. Nobody knows the time. Nobody knows the date. Nobody knows the hour when something's going to happen or it's time for you to go home. There's a lot of people each and every day always procrastinate, always thinking that they have time. Always you know what? Oh, I just put it to the side. Oh, I'm busy right now. Maybe I get to it tomorrow because I ain't doing that tomorrow. Maybe I get to it next week because I'm free. Maybe I have time next month because my bit my schedule is busy. Maybe I have time next year because right now I'm booked up right now this year. My brothers, my sisters. Nope. Tomorrow's not promised to nobody. Next week is not promised to nobody. Next month or next year is not promised to anybody. You have to have a made up mind. You got to come in faithfully. You got to come in bold and say, you know what? I know what I have to do. I know I got to do this because it is eating me up. And I just know because tomorrow's not promised to me. I can't keep dwelling on tomorrow because tomorrow have a question mark right there beside it and the reason why i'm always saying it because there's a lot of people always saying that and right now we have a lot of people right now my brothers my sisters they are fighting for their life in the hospital because they kept putting their question mark behind it they kept procrastinating right now and i'm praying for every last one of them right now today so they can have a speedy recovery so you know what they can put that question mark to the side they can quit procrastinate and go ahead and ask for jesus to come into their life there's a lot of people who who don't have a chance or opportunity no more because they're dead and gone you have to have a made up mind. You got to say, you know what? I know what I have to do this. And today I'm doing this. And all you got to say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I boldly ask of you to come into my life, to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there, you're saved, you're born again. You had just accepted and received the Holy Spirit. I just want to say congratulations to you, my brothers, my sisters, every boy and girl. Somebody's got saved, somebody's got born again, somebody's gave their life to Christ. The angels are in heaven, are rejoicing right now today. And I want to say welcome to the family. My brothers, my sisters, I'm not here to build a church up. I am here to help the lost souls because there's a lot of lost souls. There's a lot of people who go to church faithfully every Wednesday and every Sunday and still have not been saved, still haven't asked Jesus to come into their life to be their Lord and Savior Christ, still don't know anything about them. They might have heard about them, but still don't know who Christ is. That's why I'm here. Amen? Amen. God is good. My brothers, my sisters, in today's word today, I want every last one of you right now today to come to God right now. I want you to stop doing what you're doing right now today. I want you to really just go to him boldly. And I want you to go to him with confidence knowing that what you are coming to him with right now today, that it's already done. That is your wish, is your command, that whatever it is, your access is granted. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Your wish is your command. But you got to go to him with strong faith 
You got to come to him with strong confidence. You got to go to him bold and say, God, I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I know for sure that you already done it for me. And once you tell Jesus that, and you tell him that with confidence, and you tell him that with boldly, your wish is your command. Your assets is granted. And that's what God is really it want me to speak to somebody today. He said, I hear you talking, but you're not coming to me with confidence. He said, I hear you talking, but you're not coming to me boldly. So if you're not coming to him with confidence, if you're not coming to him boldly, how can your wish be your command? How can he access how can he grant your assets if you're not doing that? You have to do it. And you got to know for sure that it's already done. Amen? Amen. And before I get started. I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for all my brothers, all my sisters that's around the world today that we are together as in unity, as in one family of Christ. And we are here to praise you today. We are here to worship you today. We are here to glorify you today. We are here to shout out your holy name to you today. We are here to put our faith and our trust and our hope in you again today. And we just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done. We can't thank you for everything that you are doing. We can't thank you for our, 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 our strength today. We can't thank you for our health today. We can't thank you for our food that you put on our table and prepare for us today. We can't thank you for the clothing shoe that you put on that back. We can't thank you for the shelter that you provide for our family today. We just can't thank you for our blessing, our breakthrough, our anointing, our deliverance. We can't thank you for the help. We can't thank you for the rain. We just can't thank you for your grace and your mercy. We just can't thank you for your love. We just can't thank you for your protection. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 We just can't thank you enough. That's why we praise you the way we do, because we can't thank you enough. That's why we put our faith and our trust and our hope in you every day, because we can't thank you enough. We just 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 can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name, glory, hallelujah, we just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name, hallelujah, amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word, and I would love for you to turn your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 4, and we're going to read verse 16. It's Hebrews 4, and we're going to read verse 16. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, let the church say amen. Amen. God bless you. Mm. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I want you to look at exactly what the word of God is saying. He said, let us approach the throne of grace with confidence. What is the throne? We talking about, he said, approach Jesus. Because Jesus is on the throne. He's still performing miracles. He's still performing wonders today like he did 2,000 years ago. But he said, when you approach him, you need to approach him with confidence. What is confidence? Confidence is a sure thing that whatever it is that you are coming to Jesus with, that it's already done. You know he already done it for you. You know that your wish is your command. You know he already, your assets is granted. But when he said when you approach him, he said he, he, the word of God didn't say that you got to approach him at church on Sunday school. He didn't say that you got to approach him at Wednesday Bible, at Bible study school. He said approach him. That means that you can approach him in your house right now today. That means that you can approach him in your shower right now today. That means that you can approach him while you're in your kitchen cooking right now today. That means that you can approach him while you're driving, driving to work right now today. That means that you can approach him while you're at the gym lifting your weights right now today. That means that you can approach him while you pushing your grocery cart in the grocery store right now today. You can approach him at any time, anywhere, 
any place and he will answer you. But when you approach him, you have to have confidence. You have to have boldness and say, God, I don't know how this is going to work right now today, Jesus. But I'm coming to you in confidence and say, you know what? I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. I have to give my all to you. And I believe and I declare that this is the last year that I'm going to be slave for somebody at somebody's job. But next year, in 2019, I'm coming to work for you. And I'm giving you all of me, the whole 100%. And once you come to God and say, you know what? He or she got confidence. They're coming with boldness. Right then and there, your wish is your command. Right then and there, your asset is granted. You got to know how to come to God. Some of you right now today, you ain't come to him with confidence. You come to him with shaky confidence. You come to him with trembling confidence. You come to him, you ain't even bold enough. You talking about it, but you ain't got confidence to go to the throne and approach him and let him know what you're going through. You not come to him with confidence and let him know exactly how you feel. He hear you mumbling. He hear you in your sleep. But come to God right now with full confidence. Come to God right now with boldness and say i know for a fact this is gonna happen point blank period and i ain't taking no for an answer when you come to him like that he said your wish is your command he's telling you right now today that your assets is granted because of your confidence who i'm talking to right now today who i'm preaching to right now today because i believe and i declare right now today somebody has just approached jesus with some confidence i believe right now today somebody just approached jesus with some boldness and when you're approaching like that what he said the fine grace to help us in our time of our need right now you're in the time of your need right Right now, right now, it's a time in your life when you need Jesus to show up in your finances. Right now, you need Jesus to, to show up in your marriage, to show up in your health, to show up in your dreams. This is your time of need when you need him. When you really need him, when you really need your wish to be your command, when you need for your assets to be granted, you need to go to Jesus with confidence. You got to walk, walk up to him. Yes, Jesus, me. This your son. This your daughter. This is what I have going on. And I ain't taking no for an answer. I'm coming to you. And I know for a fact that you can do it. Because I know there's nothing too hard for you. Because I believe in you. I got my trust in you. I got my hope in you. I have my assurance in you. And I know that you've done it for me. So right now I'm coming to you with confidence. I know for a fact. I'm coming to you without a doubt. Without shaking. Without trembling. And I know that you don't done it for me. I know that you don't bought my family back together. I know that you don't access my granite. You don't grant in my access. I know for a fact that my wish is my command. I know that you're going to bless my breakthrough, my, my anointing, my deliverance. I know you're going to send me the right help because you got all the connection. You have all the resources. And I want to say thank you. I thank you in advance because with my confidence and my boldness, I know that you already don't done it for me. That's how you got to come to Jesus, my brothers and my sisters. Some of you not coming to Jesus like that at all. And you wonder why things is not adding up. You wonder why things is not going your way. You're talking, but you're not talking with confidence. You're talking, but you ain't talking with boldness. You have to come with confidence. You got to know for sure. Some of you will come with confidence and say, oh, I really don't know if Jesus is going to do it for me tonight. Because I, I, I ask about three or four times, and I still don't see nothing yet, but I, I, I'm having a second thoughts right now about this, what I'm asking for. I'm having second thoughts of what I'm believing in. I'm having second thoughts what I'm trusting in. When you're coming like that, that means you have no confidence at all. When you're coming like that, you have no trust, no faith, or hope at all. You have to have full confidence in yourself. If you don't have full confidence in yourself, how do you expect Jesus to help you in your time and your need right now today? What are you going through right now today that you know for sure that Jesus can help you right now today? What are you facing in your life right now today and you know for sure that Jesus can help you right now today? What are you going through right now in your life and you know for sure that Jesus can help you right now today? And if you know for sure that Jesus can help you, if you know for sure there's nothing too hard from him, you need to go with him with confidence. What you waiting on? You waiting somebody to hold your hand and walk you to the throne? Or are you going to face the throne by yourself? 
He said, you ain't even got to go to church to call, talk to him. Some of you waiting on Sunday just to go talk to him. You can talk to him on Monday. You can talk to him on Tuesday. You can talk to him on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can talk to him seven days a week. But you have to have confidence when you talk to him. You have to have boldness when you come to him in your time and your need. And that's why and that's when you're going to find your help. You're not. He's not going to help you if you don't have confidence. He's not going to help you if you don't have faith. He's not going to help you if you don't have trust. He's not going to help you if you don't have hope in him. You got to have trust. You have to have faith. You have to have hope. You have to have confidence. And you have to have boldness. Five steps that you have to have if you want Jesus to help you in your time of need right now today. I come to him every day. But when I come to him, I say thank you because I know he done it for me. I know that my wish is my command. I know that my access is granted. How I know that is I go to him with confidence. How I know that I come to him with boldness. How I know that I come to him with my trust, my faith, my hope, and my assurance. In my time of need, what I'm going through right now today, and my finances, and my health, and my dreams, I say thank you because I know that you don't done it for me. Point blank period. I say thank you. And when you're telling Jesus thank you, he say, you know what? His access is granted. His wish is his command because he trusts me. Even though he don't even see it. Even though he might not be aware, but he came to me with confidence. He come to me with boldness. And that will get Jesus' attention, my sisters and my brothers. When you come to Jesus with trust, when you come to Jesus with your faith, when you come to Jesus with your hope, when you come to Jesus with, with boldness and confidence, that will give Jesus his attention. And that's how he's going to help you in the time of your need. Now, go on, get ready to quit being scared and faith go to the throne right now today. You don't have to wait to Sunday. You ain't got to wait for Wednesday Bible school. You can go right now today while you're in your house. You can go talk to him right now today while you're driving around in your car. You can go to him right now today as you cutting your grass. You can go to him right now today as you picking up the leaves from your yard. You can go to him right now today as you're at the gym just lifting weights and you're running on the treadmill. You can go to him right now today day while you're at the grocery store just pushing your grocery cart. You can go to it right now today. And they say, he'll help you if you got confidence. He'll help you if you come to boldness. He'll help you if you got trust, faith, hope, and assurance in him. He will help you. He's waiting on you. What you gonna do today? You gonna look at the throne or you gonna face the throne like a grown man or like a grown woman? Which one you gonna be today? You're going to be chicken or you're going to go to him with confidence. The choice is yours. The opportunity is yours. And I believe and I declare right now today, whoever listened to this word, whoever listened to this message, they're going to say, you know what? I know God is speaking to me. I know I got to go to him with confidence. I know I got to go to him with boldness because I go to him, the word of God, not my words, but the word of God said he will help me in the time I need. But I have to be sure. And when you are sure, 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 when I say sure, that means that you are 100% sure, not 99.9, .9, not 99, but 100% sure that Jesus already done it for you, that means that you have confidence. And that's what he's looking at. Are you 100% sure that Jesus is going to help you in the time of your need? I am. I am. My wife always said, you always be happy. You don't, you don't worry about anything. You don't stress about nothing because my wish is my command. My assets have been granted because when I go to him with my confidence, when I go to him with my bonus, I know 100% sure that he will take care of my debt. He will take care of my problems. He will take care of my dreams. He will take care of my finances. He don't bomb me the help that I need. He don't open up the doors. He don't bless my things I ain't even asked or prayed for. He already done done it for me because I come to him with confidence. And I say thank you because when I went to the throne, when I went to the throne the first time, I went with confidence. When I went to the throne, I went with boldness. When I went to the throne, I had my faith with me. I had my trust. I had my hope. And I had my assurance with me. And I still have it right now today. And each and every day when he wake me up, when he gave me life, when he gave me strength, when he gave me air to breathe, I say thank you because I know for a fact, I know 100% sure that Jesus has already done took care of my problem in the time I need. I say thank you, Daddy, because I know you've done it for me, Daddy. I say I thank you, Daddy, because I know that you've done it for me. 
in Jesus' holy mighty name. What you going to do today, my brothers and my sisters? Are you going to approach the throne with confidence or are you going to be scared? Are you going to approach the throne with 100% or are you going to have 99.9%? Which one is going to be? Make your choice today, and I hope it's the 100%. Make your choice today and go with confidence. Make your choice today and go with boldness, and watch how Jesus help you in the time of your need. Not me. Jesus said he will help you. The word of God, what I believe in, what he's talking about us right now, he will help us in the time I need. And right now, some of you need that help right now. Some of you need their help in your marriage. Some of you need their help in your finances. Some of you need their help in your dreams. Some of you need your help in your, in your household. Some of y'all need their help with y'all children. Whatever it is that you need help in, go to Jesus with confidence and boldness. And he said he will help you in the time of your need. He's a man not to lie. Numbers 24, 19 say whatever you ask for, he's going to do. Go to him with confidence right now today. And watch how Jesus help you. And if this word... And if this message is for you today, I want you to give him the thanks and the praise and glory right now in his house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy, for helping us today in the time of our need. We thank you in advance, Daddy. We thank you in advance, Daddy, because we know that for sure that you done it. We thank you, Daddy, because we got 100% trust, faith, and hope in you that we know that you ever done took care of our problems. And we say thank you today in Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Before I close. I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray on me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relation with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus by us praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out of our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is Withers. Dot LT. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. And always give him the praise and glory. In Jesus' holy mighty name. God bless you. Amen.